Hello guys, this is Robron, and today I'm gonna be playing Game Dev Tycoon. Um, wait a second, I'm just gonna move over here. Can you really uh, close your mouth? off? Um, okay. So I played this game um a couple of years back. Um, when my channel, this channel was still pretty young. I only did VB plays on it, but now I want to do a full series. I tried to do a full series last time, but, you know, it didn't work out. But now that it's on Steam, I thought, hey, why the heck not? I actually got a Steam key for free since I already have the game. Alright, so basically I have to create a company. Um, it's, it, so basically what this game is, um, is you're an up and coming, you're an upcoming video game company from the from the 80s um what shall that company be called why no 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 hopefully you can rename the uh, guys copycats and player name shall be Okay, guy. So my hair. Is... That's not good. Black shirt. Why not? Okay, there we go. Game length, thirty-five years. Okay. Supporter. Right here, I can start up by the game. Okay. Oh, it's because I bought the actual game. Okay. Alright, develop a new game. Before development starts, you get a vote. Before development can start, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give the game a name. Okay. Limited because you have a bit of experience. Once you have a bit of experience, we'll be able to unlock new options. Okay, first off, we need to do these ones because we can't. All right, so we have alternate alternate history, superheroes, cyberpunk, and prison. I think alternate history. Genre. Do an RPG. Platform. PC or. Or. Is that. You know, it's Commodore, but I don't know what it's called. Govador? Yeah, I think it's called Govador, but it's Commodore. Okay. PC or. Market share right here means that um this is going to be more profitable. Um, let's get that. Why not? Okay, so we have an alternate history RPG on the on the Commodore or on the Commodore 64. What should it be called? First, let's think of a name. All right, what is the name gonna be? You know, I think that I should go for PC just because I don't have enough money. Go for PC. What should it be about? It shall be about. If um if something didn't happen, what didn't happen? Okay. All right. Um. Um. Booth. Um. They will be called Booth because um. Lincoln didn't it wasn't assassinated. But yeah, that's the twist at the end. You play as John Wilkes Booth, going up to get Lincoln, and then right when you're about to shoot him, Lincoln shoots him. It's awesome. All right, text base or 2D graphics. I'm thinking since we didn't do the uh, Govador, I'm thinking we should do um, 2D graphics. Just because it's, we need some depth into it. Okay, so now we're going to be getting these points: bugs, design, technology, and research. 
and there's going to be three stages of the game development, which will give us uh, points in each of those categories. Okay, so basically, since this is an RPG, stories and quests all the way, um, engine is really good too, just because, um, just because there's that, just because there has to be a good, uh, it has to look good, is what I'm trying to say. Um, alright. It's good, it's good, it's good. Alright, go. Alright. Game development is now started. Okay, so we will be getting, um, but, yeah, bubble, point bubbles. Go on to each of the categories. So basically, each of these, um, uh, each point of design, each point of technology is going to make the game better um, selling, and each of the research points is going to go into getting more stuff between making games, such as making new game engines and um, getting new graphics um, and bugs. Obviously, you have to earn, iron them out, out after the game development stage. All right, um, dialogue has to be way up there. Level design, uh, or AI, maybe just a little bit more like that. All right, looks like design is our high point in this. Okay, for development, you can also select additional features for your game. You can only use like basic sounds. Okay, that's that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Good world design, yes. Graphics, I think that all these actually come from. Yeah, they're all really, really, per really, really important to have. Okay, first of all, the first game is no. Okay, so. Okay, so now it's just going to iron out the bugs, give us a couple more design and technology points, and just finish that. Finish it up. Don't want to wait too long. While developing games, you can create skills. All right, new topic, new combo. So point, it's going to be a 0.5 um bon percent bonus on all the um experience. So I am only at level one. I'm just a little baby. Good judgment. Create a game with a good topic and genre combination. Your your game is now complete and will be handed off to publishing. We should see reviews and sales coming up coming in for this game soon. First reviews for a newly released game booth came out. Yeah! RPG games work well on PC. Watchmen in history and RPG are a great combo. Falls a bit short. What if I do wrong? Another seven. Good game. GG, bro. GG. Alright, look at that. Saw it, saw it. Um, I don't know, like a six. Six and a half. Yeah, that's a, that's a six and a half average. It's really good. Okay. So, the sales will pop up on here. The Coppercast, a newcomer in the, ga in the game industry, has just released their first game, Boost. The, boot, the game received favorable reviews. With such a good start, the Coppercasts are sure, sure to gain fans quickly. Great. Okay, so we'll have sales right here, which means we'll get money into here. Look at that. $23,000 on the first week. Look at this. Booth may, sold 3,374 units since the first week on the market, and made it, we made it in the charts at number 40. No other games on sale, we will release the income of the first game every week. Successful, we now have 14 fans. Look at that, 14 fans. 21 fans now. Look at that. Alright, we've made some profit. We've made some profit already. Look at that. We've made a whole bunch of profit now. Now we're just going up. Now we are just going up. Oh my gosh. Okay. 10,000 units sold. 
already in our first game. That's insanity. All right. Um. After that, we can actually check what the profits are. Game report. Okay. Fifty thousand dollars. Fifty thousand dollars in profit. That's insane. Okay. All right. Oh, new game. All right. What shall the topic? Actually, actually, let's research. All right. So, basically, it gives you new graphics cards, and you can make eventually a custom game engine and stuff like that. All right, new topic. What shall it be? Oh, that was really good. Let's just stick with the four that we have already. All right, develop new game. Yeah. Okay. All right, did alternate history. Let's go for a um. Cyberpunk, why not? Okay. And then Cyberpunk Adventure? No, Cyberpunk Action. And, um, on the PC. I think next game we can afford to, um, get the Commodore 64. But for now, yeah. Alright, let's see. Cyberpunk. I bored me. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so bad. Okay. Do any graphics, why not? We have enough money. Alright. Action. Oh, gameplay all the way. Stories of press, not that much. But, engine, definitely. Alright, there we go. That should be a good mix. So basically how this game works is there's um certain combinations of each of the games. Wow, look at that, 82,000 total. Jeez. So basically, um, how it works is, um, each of these stages, there's a combination that's like the best, and I'm basically you're trying to figure out what that combination is. So for action, I'm guessing level design is really important, dialogue isn't really, and artificial intelligence is very important also. Some market studies suggest that the Commodore, Commodore G64 is steadily outselling com competitors in this in the PC sector. Consumers prefer the lower price, greater availability, ability, and flexible hard hardware configure configuration over all other uh, over other home computers. Design, not that, not, not good. Graphics, sound, definitely. Five points right there. Stop scratching your head! Don't you just scratch your head for a week straight? What the heck is wrong with you? Okay. Sign out the bugs, get a couple more uh, points. Might as well finish. Don't want to waste any time. We're already using our money. Alright, new, new topic, new combo. Let's get some experience. Still level 1 baby. Okay, first reviews are our newly released game, Cyborgs, came in. Oh, I saw a 10 in there. I saw a 10. Have seen better. Oh, jeez. 4. Not good, not bad. Disappointing. Meh. Oh no, our second game, we've already, we've already bombed, it's not good, the company Nintendo is planning to release, launch their own gaming console, Nintendo is known for their widely successful arcade game Dinky King, okay, alright, look at that, Look at that, dude. We better get a profit from this. Let's see what we have. We only lost $100 so far. Now... Look at that. 2000 in the fourth week. 2000 in the fourth week. 
We're losing fans steadily though, which is not good. Okay. Okay, so let's just start developing a new game at this point. Actually, can we research anything? That would be a good thing to do. I feel like the uh, custom game engine is the way to go. Actually, no, that costs a lot. I think that we should just stick with the way we have for now, and then once we get enough money, I think that we should just go for that. Okay, we have superheroes or, or prison. Okay, genre. Adventure. And, um, right, should it be simulator, prison simulator? What year is this? It started in 1982. So, it's gonna be released in, um, probably maybe three, so. Uh, let's do prison simulator. No, prison simulator. Or the. I feel like we don't have enough money for the G64, but I think it's our only option if we're gonna get any profit. I don't know, like, going to debt. No, 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 I'm sick with the PC, I'm sick with the PC. We can't lose any more, we can't lose any more money. We only have 6,000 more than we had before. Oh, okay, all right. Where's Sim 83? Because it's gonna be released in 1983, and started in 1982. All right, next. Graphics, it's good, it's all good, all right. Cyborgs is off the market. It sold 6,000 units and generated 43,000 in sales. Yet today, Ninvento has confirmed recent rumors and announced their plans to release a new game, home gaming console called TESS ne early next year. The, the console features cartridge-based systems and a uniquely designed, con uh, uniquely designed controller. Cool. Alright, so the NES is coming out now. Alright, um, engine in simulation game. Engine is everything. Simulation, not so much. Sorry, request, not so much. Also, we have debt. We have, like, um, mortgage and stuff. So, yeah, that's gonna be bad. Okay, uh, let's see. Oh, AI turned down. I'll turn down. Level design. Everything. New sim game. Okay. World design. No. Graphics. So. Alright. Oh, we're down graphics a little bit. There we go. It should be good. Two of our From Patrick and Daniel Klug. Greenheart Games. Hi, everyone. We are the creators of Game Dev Tycoon, and we would like to, we would like to thank you very much for purchasing the game and supporting us. Your very first game, and it means a lot to us that you're enjoying it with your purchase. Okay. Okay. So, um, we're basically playing a game about what the developers are doing right now, I guess, because this is our first game actually, and. Hmm. Yeah. Hopefully I can um you know there's alright, alright. New record, new record. Bam, this is gonna be like the best game of all time. I'm still a little baby. Almost pushing it over the edge, but not quite yet. First release for a newly released game. This game. Prison Sim 83 came out. Seven beautiful. Six could have seen better. Five had its moments and seven had nice experience. Okay. That's a, another six point two five right there. Hopefully. Oh my gosh, look at that. Four thousand this first week. We just finished. Hi there, I've just finished prison sim. 83 and I am impressed by your talent. I am in the contract in the contracting business and we could use your skills like yours. If you are ever short on cash, just let me know and we'll see uh, if we have some work for you, Jason. Contracts have now been unlocked. Okay, so those are quick ways to make money by 
Um, you have to get a certain amount of technology and design points in a certain amount of time. Meaning that if you don't, then you lose that, um, a certain amount of money. And if you do, if you um, get it, then it's gonna be. If you do, then if you do reach that goal, then you're gonna be able to get that. So apparently, it's not 1983, or yeah, 1983. It's actually 1985 because the NES was just released. All right, let's create a new game. I think contract work should be held up a little bit. All right, um. Go superheroes. Why not? Superhero adventure for the test. Oh my gosh, no, eighty thousand bucks. Jeez. Save that for later. Ah. Uh, all right, let's go for G. E sixty four. All right. Um. Superheroes. Oh jeez, I think every other I think every like superhero ideas are taken. Uh, let's go for Ratman. Man, all right, two D graphics. All right, that's good. Okay, so we're gonna have to um, get a design first. Yeah. All right, adventure. Oh. Right. For a story, gameplay, not so much. So that all right there. Story is a quest, right there. All right. Stop scratching your head for a week and a half. Come on, man. You got work to do. Alright, Prison Sim 1983 is off now off market and sold 12,000 units, generating 90,000 in sales. Awesome! So we're steadily growing in terms of us uh, in sales. We have, 50, we have almost 60,000 profit on there, 12,000 profit on there, and 50,000 profit on there. Okay, let's get a really good game out there. Just like awesome, masterful, just like all tens. All right, adventure. Gold sign, AI, yes. Okay. Okay, this is good, this is good. Going design, heavy. This one, not getting much points though. World design, yes. It's not as important as graphics. Get that up there. Okay. Okay. Crap. This is not good. I mean, it's not going to do good whatsoever. I think I don't think the superheroes and adventures are is good. Because look at that. It's not even going to do. Level up on everything. Oh my gosh, dude, I'm like a little bit, I'm like a slightly bigger baby. I'm a slightly bigger baby now. Okay. First fruit is really in a cave in. It's gonna be like all twos and threes. Quite bad. Twos. Terrible combination. Are you kidding? Oh man, that's like the best one I could think of. What's good? What goes good with superheroes? Apparently nothing. Oh look, we had a DeLorean in here. Oh my guy actually kind of looks like Marty too. Probably chosen the orange vest one. Marty. Oh, that should be our, our new one. Oh, that could be like an alternate timeline. It could be called DeLorean. It will be a spin-off of Back to the Future because it was just released in a chronological uh, in chrono chronological order in if this game is in the right place. Um, so if we can get like a spin-off game, then all right, let's see. 
Mandalorian. That's how you spell it, right? Alright, let's see. Alternate history. Do an RPG. Why not? Don't have enough money for that yet. Go for a PC. Why not? Alright, Delorean. Alright, wait, wait, alright. Game report. Man, only 12,000. Alright, we really need to be getting our game up. RPG. Story, history, uh, story and quest is like the big thing. Alright. Alright, we're gonna just do this one more game and then I'll end the episode. It's probably gone wrong for like 30 minutes by now.